I'm sure us fellow YouTubers have already heard about the shooting at YouTube headquarters in San Bruno, California. Who ever thought a shooting would go down at YouTube headquarters? Usually when it comes to these shootings, the suspect is always a Caucasian male. Well, the suspect involved in the shooting is a woman and is not white. She's a Persian Indian woman. This is 38-year-old Nasim Najafi Adam. She was a YouTuber, vegan activist, and dancer. She was born on April 5, 1979, and died on April 3rd of this year, this past Tuesday. So she was two days away from her 39th birthday. She did not get to see her 39th birthday. Nassim entered an exterior parking garage, approached an outdoor patio, then opened fire with a Smith & Wesson 9mm caliber semi automatic pistol. She wounded three people and thank God none of those three died. Luckily, they survived. The only one who died was Nassim herself as she took the usual cowardly way out. Well, looks like the joke's on her, although she was pretty much two days late after April Fool's Day, since the joke was on her two days after April Fool's Day. Asim was born in Ermia, Iran, but her and her family moved to USA in 1996. In San Diego, she lived with her grandmother when she was 38. Nassim posted content on Facebook, Instagram, Telegram, and of course YouTube, in Persian, Azuri, and English. Her family warned the police since they knew something was wrong with her. The police questioned her but released Nassim the morning before the mass shooting. Did the police even warn YouTube? If they did, they would have gave YouTube a heads up before it was too late. And it was too late. I don't get it. The family warned the police, but then they questioned her and they still released her. The reason why she did this, because of the policies and procedures of cancership, also demonetizing most of her videos on her channel. She said, you two filter my channels to keep them from getting views. And they probably didn't think it was kid appropriate. Here's my thing. I could understand why she was upset and then the shooting happened. I get that. You know, YouTube, they're going too far with all this cancer ship crap and demonetizing certain things. And it's pretty much usually stupid stuff. So apparently her YouTube channel was taken down as soon as the YouTube headquarters shooting happened and they found out that, you know, she killed herself. So they quickly took it down. But I've noticed that some people on YouTube have found some videos from her channel and then now it's uploaded on YouTube. How they get her videos and get it posted on YouTube? Probably at some random website or whatever. And my thing is, why would YouTube take her channel down? I mean, the woman has died. I mean, it's not like she's going to come back and haunt them and get revenge again. I mean, I think it would, it would be understandable and different if she was still alive and like you know, going to jail or something like that. That, that would be understandable to take it down, but whatever and apparently she has like some strange bizarre videos random videos of her dancing and it'll be like maybe like some fruit or animals or whatever in the background and then she would have like workout videos pretty much it and youtube demolitized her for that i mean why would they demolitize her or cancer ship her workout videos it's just workout. She's not doing anything sexually in her workout videos or her dancing videos. Like I said, I can understand why she was upset and whatnot, but that doesn't mean that you go around going to San Bruno, California and taking your anger out of people at YouTube just because you're upset about your videos being demonetized. And she had every right to be upset, but I wish she would have done a professional way. At least go up to the headquarters and talk to them about it instead of just, you know, letting her anger get the best of her and just taking it out on people because of that and shooting and wounding people. That's that's not cool. Violence is not the answer. You can't have sympathy for this woman. I have no sympathy for her. 
randomly shooting three people ended up wounded and then she takes the cowardly way out youtube this is pretty much a wake-up call because of this shooting this looks like a wake-up call that maybe you guys should stop being idiotic and stop cancer shipping and demolitizing every freaking video you're killing the channel some people uploaded videos of her doing workouts and dancing and I've seen the comments like in her workout video somebody said I'll hit that and, um, and like in her uh, dancing videos they said that um, she, she has such a great rack such a waist such a waste of a great rack and oh she's hot she's sexy I'll smash and whatnot for some reason some people think that she looked like uh, Michael Jackson I'm like how does she look like Michael Jackson and then people assuming that she was a transgender. I don't know, probably because of how long her neck was. I looked on the internet. I, I haven't found any proof or evidence that she was a transgender. So I'm pretty sure she was a woman. And maybe some people think she looks like a female Michael Jackson. I don't know. Maybe it's because her appearance. Maybe because she had like a an odd face. I mean, it's no surprise people will come in and say that she's sexy and hot and they would tap that since she passed away. And plus, they obviously didn't know that she had a YouTube channel. I didn't know that she had a YouTube channel. I'm pretty sure a lot of us didn't know that she had a YouTube channel. And we didn't know who she was until this shooting happened. You know, we didn't know who she was until she passed away. I mean, she wasn't the most drop-dead, gorgeous, or the most sexiest or hottest woman ever but I don't know I guess I guess she yeah she was pretty hot I mean her body's not bad her face is you know not bad either but there ain't nothing hot and sexy about her going up to YouTube headquarters and just randomly wounding people that's not hot and sexy that's no that's a turn off tell me your thoughts on the shooting